Hey everybody, Gamma Games here. I wanted to make this video to go into full depth about the Countess, the newest character added into Dungeon Defenders 2. And this guide will be going into details of how to use the character's towers, how well these towers pair with others, and as well as how you should be focusing these towers against enemies. And before we get into this, please like and subscribe if you're new, and make sure to leave a comment down below on which characters or which things you would like me to make a guide on for the future, and I will be sure to look into it. Thank you. Alright, starting off first, we have the Elder Dragon, which is a tower that is meant to be a heavy damage. It's better at using against multiple enemies for crowd control, as well as group damage in general against tougher enemies, and can ignite them using fire and keep them burning for quite a while before it actually gets put out. Alright, next up we have the Oil Catapult. This tower is good for its arc shot against air enemies as well as ground enemies. Its main use is for lighting enemies with oil so that way you can ignite them with fire and keep them burning for a while. It's good at getting rid of Draken Lord shield as well as dealing with smaller enemies. However, it does lack in damage and can only be used for basically extra damage for fire if you need it. Alright, next up we have the Flat Cannon. This tower has a widespread cone as well as a knockback, but it does have a slow fire rate, so you might want to upgrade your stats for fire rate. And then last but not least, the Dragon's Nest. This is a tower that is similar to the Dryad's Hornet's Nest. However, there is always going to be three of them, and they will not receive a boost from any kind of outside source apart from the Countess Damage Attack Boost. Now, these towers are pretty good at dealing with groups as well as air and can be pretty solid. However, they do have a little bit of a range issue, but that can be fixed with a good mod. Now on the field, you can see that baby dragons are really good at dealing with a lot of the grouds as they do splash and can pretty much shred through the smaller enemies without too much problems. However, they do have a range issue, like mentioned before, which is why they cannot go pretty far away from the nest but that does make up for it with their damage as well as the splash. Next up, the Oil Catapult. This one is a troublesome tower to use as it does not do good by itself at all, and as you can see here, it doesn't do much against these guys apart from just being able to light them with oil, which can be good for fire. You want to use these kind of towers in the back of your defenses that have fire abilities or fire status as they can affect them and easily ignite them on fire and deal with the Draken Lord in a pretty similar way. Next up we have the Flat Cannon. As you can see, it is a very slow fire rate tower and cannot handle big groups completely on its own. So you may want to use these guys with a second one as well, however you want to place them, but make sure they are behind your blockades as they are kind of fragile and will not be able to handle many groups uh, that swarm too much. However, they can do knockback, which can be great for keeping the enemies away, as well as deal with a lot of the heavier groups that can be problems later. And last but not least, we have the Elder Dragon out of all the towers, which is the highest damage tower that the Countess has. This tower can be really good at uh, shredding through crowds, as mentioned before, as well as being really good to use behind blockades or combine with oil catapult as it can ignite enemies with the fire as well as thin out the crowds to make an easier job to clean up. It is good against the Draken Lord and many other minion spawning bosses that can be pretty difficult to deal with with single target towers. However, this tower does have one flaw and that flaw is that you can only put down one per deck, which can be a pretty troublesome thing, but can be easily useful and ut utilized to be one of the best towers you can use on your team, similar to the Volcano. And finally, to wrap up the Countess abilities, we have a Shield Slam, which ignites the floor in front of her in a trail on fire for a few seconds, as well as igniting enemies in its path before disappearing. We have a Rally ability, which increases attack speed and damage of nearby heroes and towers. We have a Slam Charge which also it makes her immune to damage for the duration of the charge, as well as cannot be stopped until the duration ends. We also have, finally, a healing orb, which reduces damage taken, as well as regenerates health over time, as well as a passive ability, which every sword swing will cause a phoenix to shoot from the sword. That is pretty much the end of the guide. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want an even more further depth guide in the future, Please leave a like, 
subscribe, and comment down below letting me know which guide you would like to see of other characters as well. And I hope that you all enjoyed this guide. Thank you for all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, and stay awesome everybody.